All right, hey guys. So the main question I got asked after my last tutorial, and kind of something I realized I glossed over a little bit, was uh, certainly where exactly to use, you know, tornado spin or free air roll. So what I'm going to do today, pretty informal, is just run through these workshop maps and kind of try and lay it out with, you know, examples of how I transition and where I use each different, you know, style of spin. So, you know, I'll just start into easy here. My control bindings are the exact same. So you can kind of see, you know, if I ever press in on left stick, that's tornado spinning. If I'm ever using left bumper, that's the free air roll. Same thing for right bumper. One thing I want to note is that um, I am cutting a lot to save the video time. I didn't do all of these perfectly. But uh, starting off with these easy maps, you can kind of see, like, a lot of this is me just you know, doing, you know, unessential spins. Like, you can do all these maps efficiently without using any air roll or any tornado spinning or any, any you know, any type of aerial spinning. You can kind of just do it with your stick. And uh, a lot of people do, and it's very good practice. But what I'm kind of doing here is, is throwing in, you know, as much flashiness, I guess, as much spinning as I can, kind of just to show you, you know, the effect that, these movements are having on my car and uh, kind of show you what the understanding is. So you can kind of see like going in through that last map, I'm kind of using it tornado spin to bounce in and out of the podiums. Uh, Cause with the, with the tornado spin will do really well is kind of, you know, angle your boost in such a way while keeping your nose in the same direction. Uh, kind of the same thing here as I enter that tube, like I'm using tornado spin to get my car aimed upward the same thing exiting, I'm using it to leave. Uh, here, I'm mostly just going to hold my stick straight because there's not a lot of place to add spin. A lot of helicopter movement downward just because I can keep my car angled up. But when you use that helicopter movement to keep up, you have to incorporate, you know, some sort of tornado spin in order to keep your nose up. But it helps get, you know, a 360 alignment. Using a good bit of tornado spin to zigzag through that, but you know most of this still remains kind of air roll, because air roll is a lot more natural than tornado spinning, so it's a lot more intuitive. I think most all of that looked to be air roll, which is uh, kind of what I expect. You know, a lot of what tornado spinning is, is used to kind of keep your car in place. It's not kind of made, at least how I use it in these workshop maps, I'm using it more to, you know, not, not while I'm making, you know, long ranged movements on my car. It's, it's, it's small corrections with my boost. You know, that's tornado spinning at the top of that. It's not, it's not preparing a long range movement, but it's getting my boost angled properly at the top of that hill. You can kind of start to see that, you know, what I've been saying, it's like, I'm using this tornado, sp tornado spin for these like small corrections, but you know, a lot of the larger movements are done with air roll because they're a lot more directional. Like one thing that needs to be noted about air rolling left, right, you know, with my with my uh, stick and my right bumper, like you can use that neutrally, and I think I do a good chunk of the time, like just to spin the car, not to change any sort of directional movement, but just to get you know my nose facing, or get my car oriented in the way I want. Yeah, small tornado spin there just to gain some elevation real quick. Same thing here. Otherwise, the majority of the corrections are made with air roll, free air roll. And like a lot of times when I'm neutral spinning like that, like, you know, just, just spinning left to right. 
that that that's usually just me using the raw input of like arrow left or arrow right. And to get through a lot of these maps quickly, you know, several other skills need to kind of be implemented. You know, like I feather my boost a lot. I switch my cameras a lot. And those are the kind of things you pick up a lot with practice. And a lot of this air roll, free air roll, air roll right, left. Like where you implement it is completely up to the player. It's a lot of, it's a lot of touch and feel. It's what do you feel like you need to do right now in the air? You know, what's the best way to get your car oriented how you want it? Because a lot of it is kind of synonymous. You know, you can, uh, you can get your car in the same position a few different ways, usually all the time. It's usually going to be one really efficient way for you to do that, though. And then going through and, you know, getting a feel for that and picking out how you want to do that is just kind of through time and selection. So, yeah, most all of that drop right there was all air roll because there wasn't really a lot of place I wanted to use tornado spin. All I was doing was angling my car in a different direction. I knew where I wanted to go, and there's no need to drastically alter the course of my boost. And like a lot of the times that I pick free air roll instead of uh, air roll left or right is because when you use free air roll you you continue to have you know all 360 degrees of operation but when you use you know this tornado spin it's air roll right left you you lock yourself in to movements that only incorporate you know an air roll left or an air roll right it 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 adds options but it takes them away so there's some give and take there and a lot of it is still just like selection what's what's going to let me get where I want to be. It's like this level is a really, really tight map. So I use a good chunk of tornado spinning because I want to make micro adjustments with my boost and I want to keep my nose in the same spot. And I kind of picked this map because it's a map that, you know, I've been using for a long, long time. Like, this is where I started practicing my aerial mechanics. Uh, you know, there's Lethemir's new ring map that was suggested to me. I went through it. I don't know it that well. And I feel that doing a map I know really, really well and have a lot of practice with is a little more beneficial because I know how I can incorporate, you know, extra spins and extra, extra air rolling. And this is another one of those levels where it's really, really tight corners. You, you can't go too far left or right. So it's these micro adjustments that are necessary, a lot of which use tornado spin. And uh, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped.